In today's tutorial, we will discuss about the size exclusion or gel permeation chromatography. Before we explain, I would love to tell you people the points which we are going to discuss in this lecture. Now, what are the points? First of all, we will tell about the chromatography in short. And uh, we will know about the main components of any type of chromatography and the main components of the size exclusion chromatography. After that, we will know about the instrumentation or the materials required to perform the size exclusion chromatography. And we will also know the working and the principle through which our this size exclusion chromatography is actually functional. Or you can say we will know about the principle in short. So let's start from the very first point that is the chromatography. Now what is chromatography? It is actually a separation technique that is used to separate the components of mixture. You can shortly say that chromatography is a separation technique. And what we are using this technique for? We have a mixture and we want to separate the components of mixture. In order to analyze this particular mixture, we need to separate the components present in that particular mixture. So for that sake, we are using a technique. The technique that you are using to separate the components, that technique is actually called as chromatography and we do have different types of the chromatography and the one that we are discussing in our this lecture is size exclusion chromatography now what are the main components of any type of chromatography which are specific for every type we have two main components the stationary phase and the mobile phase now what is stationary phase it is the phase that is actually fixed and the mobile phase is the one that is actually moving so we have one phase which is fixed and we have another phase that is moving the fixed one is called stationary stagnant fixed one and the one that is moving is called mobile phase actually the name actually are suggesting you guys the main concept of the terms so stationary is the standing one the fixed one and mobile is the one that is actually moving and these two phases are actually responsible to do the separation of your particular mixture or your particular sample that you want to separate into different components now let's come towards the next point that is the main components of our size exclusion chromatography and the case is obvious that we have these two main components in every type means we have stationary phase and mobile phase in every type of the chromatography so we do have the same components in the same chromatography in this one in the size exclusion chromatography so our stationary phase and mobile phase are available but in this particular chromatography, our stationary phase is different from other types. Now, what is our stationary phase? The stationary phase that we are using for a size exclusion chromatography may be agarose, polystyrene, or dextrins. You can use any. And these all have porous nature. And we need the porous nature stationary phase. Now, what is the logic behind? We will know the logic in the working. That why do we need the porous nature stationary phase and the next one is mobile phase and the mobile phase includes the solvent or the mixture of solvent now this is depending upon what type of sample you have then according to particular sample we will select the particular type of the solvent now let's come towards the next point that is the instrumentation or the materials required to perform size exclusion chromatography what do we need we need one thing that is the solvent reservoir in which our mobile phase is present and we need the next very important component the stationary phase and we must have a column in which we will fix our stationary phase so we need stationary phase column sample and solvent reservoir in which our mobile phase is available so we need all these instruments to perform size exclusion chromatography now let's come towards the next point that is the working how these uh, instruments actually work we we'll know about that so let's start the discussion from the stationary phase stationary phase that we are using here is actually of the porous nature which will be having the pores we will take the stationary phase and we will fix the stationary phase in the particular column and now one very important point regarding the sample is that the sample that we are using for this particular type of chromatography are the sample if you want to separate through this chromatography through the size exclusion chromatography our sample must be having different size components it must be having small size intermediate size and large size components so these types of the samples can be separated through this particular chromatography the size exclusion chromatography now you can guess from the name size exclusion size okay now the whole discussion will be about the samples size as we fix our stationary phase in the column we will just load our sample after loading the sample we will just run the solution now what will happen the mobile phase will carry the sample with itself and here the stationary phase is waiting for the different size components of the sample now this stationary phase got pores what pores and it has also got a free space present around it why because this stationary phase is having a bead like structure so one bead is here and we have a space around here free we have number of beads 
available here so now what is happening how the separation is taking place here we have small size intermediate size and large size sample now what will happen is the mobile phase and sample starts moving down the column what is going to happen here now we have a small size intermediate size and large size sample now these components will start moving down and here the stationary phase is waiting for these components now here the small size and intermediate size samples they will find the place in the pores of the stationary phase and what will happen these components will start uh, you can say somehow residing or sticking in those pores of the stationary phase and what happens next is that the large size samples what will happen to them those samples they have no any kind of uh, suitable pore so they will start moving here like this and they will find their path and they will move out so these samples will be eluted with the uh, our solvent you can say with our mobile phase and this is how our size exclusion chromatography is actually working now you can say that this uh, size exclusion chromatography is just like a filter it is allowing the large size components to pass easily and it is just uh, adhering the small size components in its pores so this is how it is separating the components on the basis of size now let's come towards the next point that is the principle now what is the main principle you got the concept that here our sample is separated based on the size so our main principle here is size exclusion now due to this particular principle well, this chromatography is named is size exclusion chromatography i hope you got if still you have any kind of confusion feel free to ask us in the comment box we're here to help you guys and thank you for watching Thank <laughs> you.